to start doing our project, we're gonna need the power source, which for Raspberry Pi is gonna be a USB type C port with an adapter. The Raspberry Pi, this is a uh, version four model D. And also we're gonna need a micro SD, at least four gigabytes minus eight, uh, an adapter and a card reader so I can connect it to my uh, Mac but you can have Mac or Windows it doesn't matter so let's go and switch to our screen so we are right now connected to our computer and uh, we have connected this card right here next thing would be to go to the Raspberry Pi website so it's gonna be raspberrypi.org and go to software right here so now we're in software so we have here if we scroll down we have the option for Mac OS Windows or Linux so we're gonna go with Mac OS in my case I'm gonna save it yes okay open it So right now we're gonna push command space and type raspberry i right here we're gonna have this message pop up open and here we go we have the installer so right now we're gonna choose actually first thing we're gonna go and format our uh, sd card so just push erase like this Choose the SD card, make sure you choose the right card. Mine's only 8 gigabytes and I don't have any other media devices connected. So I'm gonna choose this one, white. So it's gonna tell me that it's gonna erase everything. So I'll give you this our moments uh, for it to format it. So it gets you and now it's done. Next thing we're gonna go up and choose Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit version again choose the media storage it's our SD card right here so you can see it here SD card and push right it's gonna tell you again that it's gonna erase everything yes and it's gonna ask for your password and now it's gonna take like probably five ten minutes to install it all depending on your uh, machine and also it's, it's going to depend on your internet service provider speed the image the operating system of uh, weights around I think one and maybe one and a half gigabyte or something like that so just make sure you have a good internet connection so I'm gonna forward this video so you don't have to wait with me all this time and come back when it's done So we're back, you can see right successful. You can now remove the SD card. You can push yes or okay. Close this one. You have to take out the SD card and put it back. So we inserted back the SD card back into our computer. Now we're gonna open the editor. Okay. New document. And then format. Don't write anything in the document, just make a plain text. Close it and save it. So search just address. Save it. You can see it's, it's SSH, but you're gonna click right and come on here and delete the TXT extension and just leave it left. SSH. Remove. Yep. So right now it's an empty file and drop it inside. So next step, uh, take the SD card out and put it in your Raspberry Pi. So uh, now we connected the Raspberry Pi to the back of the router. And now we're gonna log in in our router. Um, I know my IP address, 
but you should check your IP address on the back of the router and there should be a password and a username so in my case I'm gonna go to 192.168.01 uh, log in and here I am I'm in my router and I'm gonna go to wired clients because so oh, this is it so my Raspberry Pi address is 192.168.0.102 so this is the local IP address next thing I'm gonna open terminal by pushing common space and put terminal, terminal and we're gonna go and connect to to the Raspberry Pi by putting ssh pi at 192.168.0.102 enter yes password is raspberry r a s p b e r r y nothing is gonna show up here but it's actually typing so enter so right now we are in our raspberry you can see it right here logged in as pi and this is raspberry now you're gonna type sudo that was p .com dot and now we have connected to the raspberry configuration and we're gonna go to interface option and activate the vnc fn3 would you like to name the server yes vnc server remember okay so you also want to to connect it to your uh, wi-fi if you want your raspberry pi to be wireless then you can go here to s1 choose us or in my case united states wireless land concept us okay and then the name of your wi-fi make sure it's correct Mine is this one, enter, password, enter, and connect it. Go display options, resolution, so D1, and choose a higher one, Let's say this one, okay. Now we can basically go out and finish and reboot the system, yes. And it just had to wait a few minutes to reboot. And by that time, we can go online again and Google for Mac in my case, Linux. So this is the site and download it. Open terminal and type VNC and start it up. We're gonna type here 192.168.0.102. Enter. So the, by default, the password is pi and the password is raspberry. I'm gonna show you. So this is by default the password okay and here you go you're connected to your raspberry pi now it's gonna ask you how to set it up yeah i'm not gonna change the password right now but we can change it you can change it later on next next we're already connected you can see these two lines that we're connected already next update software next and i would recommend updating it so i'll forward all this and come back when it's ready took about 10 minutes or so to update so the system is up to date I'm not gonna restart right now later first we have to give our Raspberry Pi a static IP address so when we restart we have the same IP address if you want to use it for some apps like in our case I want to use it with cops to make it easier we're gonna open two terminals and uh, one we're gonna put sudo nano space etc at dhcpcd.com push enter and on this one we're gonna put if if config okay so we did this one so we know our IP address so you can see here internet it's one two so we're gonna go to this one go down and you can see at the end we have this example so 
we're gonna delete this right here into make the change here and make change it to your IP address so it's 192.168.0102 we're not gonna use IP6 now we're gonna use this static router so my router is at this address 192.168.0.1 you can see by going right here this is my router address so that's good uh, static domain name it's gonna be the same as the router right here we're not gonna use all that stuff this just like that so we got put in there space space VLAN zero right here right here VLAN zero and the AP address is gonna be 101 so we're gonna copy this one static IP address static IP address is 192.168.0.101 slash 24 static router is 192.168.0.1 static domain domain server is one ninety two one sixty eight zero one so this is how you're gonna leave it to exit and save this one we're gonna push control X, you can see it right here, and then Y for, to save it. So now it's saved, and we're gonna go here, shut down, reboot. So it's back. Now we're gonna go to terminal and make sure we set it up correctly. So if config and make sure it's the same IP address. So 102. For Ethernet and is 192.101. So everything's right. So that's it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them below. And uh, peace.